All right, guys, we're at Chicagoland Sports Cards here in Arlington Heights, Illinois. Another little LCS shop I stumbled upon after I uh, bring my girlfriend to the airport. So I'm going to stop and see what they got. Salute to Hoops, guys. Welcome back. Another day. Another day in the hobby. Another video. Hope you guys enjoyed the first portion of this video. Nice little hobby shop I found after dropping my girlfriend off at the airport. Down in Arlington Heights, Illinois, which is about an hour away from where I'm at. Definitely a great shop, for sure. One of the best hobby shops I've ever been to as far as uh, selection of cards go and product and things like that. So if you're ever in the area, go ahead and check them out. <sighs> Hope everyone's enjoying the NBA preseason. I know I am. It's just great to see basketball on. Great to see Bulls basketball again. Whoever your team is, I hope you're enjoying them. I will say that my Talon Horton Tucker prediction from a couple videos ago, as far as sophomores we should be watching, is... I don't want to say coming true, but it's definitely on the radar. He just scored 31 points tonight. Then again, it is preseason, guys, but we're definitely going to be keeping my eye on that. His prices are already skyrocketing on eBay. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes the rest of the season, but the kids definitely got some some game and some potential. So uh feels good knowing that I'm uh, at least somewhat close to being right on that prediction. 
But like I said, it is preseason, so we'll see how the rest of the season goes. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys some of the pickups that I got while at the, the uh, local card shop there down in Arlington Heights. I didn't pick up too many singles. I uh, was kind of on a budget myself, so there were a couple uh, different cards that I did like there. So I'll share that with you guys. And then uh, I did pick up uh, this thing there, uh, Fantasy Sports Breaks Basketball, this little hanger box type deal. You guys saw it in the video. So I'm also going to rip this open for you guys and see what the heck is inside. It's my first time ever seeing it. Paid 25 bucks for it. Uh, we'll see, I guess. <laughs> we will definitely see, but... Let's get to what I picked up there, guys. So a couple Cam Reddishes, uh, some lottery uh, tickets from uh, Contenders last year, obviously. Four bucks a pop, and then uh, one of these uh, Revolution rookie cards as well of him. I haven't been keeping an eye on him uh, as far as the preseason goes. I'm not too sure if he's played yet, uh, but I, I definitely will be doing that. Uh, next, we got some RJ Barrett Prisms. Uh, some emerge, just some inserts, emergence and instant impacts. Nothing too crazy, uh, but I did like the price on all of them, so I decided to get them. Uh, I saw the Knicks play briefly tonight. I was more so uh, wanting to watch the Bulls game, but uh, I'm not. I, I like I said, I only watched a few minutes of it, so I'm not too sure how RJ Barrett did. Uh, in the moments that I was watching, he did miss a layup, so hopefully. That is not uh, par for the course, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping. Anyway, moving on, I did pick up this nice little Luca Simonic Select uh, Draft Selections um, patch here for five bucks. There we go. I don't know why I had a brain fart right there. That's right in front of me, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely a Luca Simonic fan. You guys know that. Just, I mean, I don't actively uh, go searching for, for his stuff, but if I do find it for cheap... Um, I definitely pull the trigger on it. So nice little card. The edges were looking nice. And the price was also looking nice as well. So I figured why not hit up the Lucas Simonic for $5. Nothing really too special about it. The patch on it either, unfortunately. It's just uh, looks like it's probably one of like the white portions of the, the shorts. Or maybe like the side of the jersey or something there. So still a cool card nonetheless for 5 bucks. We'll take it. Next, guys, we're going to get into this here. So, like I was saying, I'd never seen this at all until I went to that shop. So, it's by Fantasy Sports Breaks. It's a little hanger box here, obviously. Uh, it cost me 25 bucks, And I am i don't really have any other info on it, to be honest with you guys. I apologize for that. It does say that uh, you look for autograph, memorabilia, and rookie cards of star players past and present. So... Hopefully, this is nothing like the Fairfield boxes where it's just literally junk wax inside. Uh, but my hopes aren't too high for this. But I figured, why not? It'd be pretty cool for the channel. So, uh, okay. Uh, right off the bat here, we got a nice little PJ Washington prism. Which isn't a bad sign at all of things here, so... All right, this is actually, it looks like a repack. I don't know who repacks these, made in USA. And that's really all I got, okay. And there is like a, a mem card back here too, possibly. I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil it here, but uh, we might just have to the way it's set up. Let's see here, we'll put, we'll put this pack of cards over it, there we go. Save the best for last there. All right, so like I was saying, right off the bat here, we got a nice little PJ Washington Prism rookie, which I'll definitely take. Rui Hashimura, Mosaic, John Collins, okay, Prism. Aaron Baines, Mosaic, meh. Chris Paul, Contenders, meh. Dana Barros, Gorgie Dang, Prism. 
this is definitely an awkward uh, assortment of cards in here, for sure. DeMontis Sabonis. Kevin Knox. Very, very odd assortment here. We got Mosaic. We got Prism. We got, like, some random contenders. And then some super random, like, 90s junk wax, for sure. All right. Odd. Uh, but we also did get, I mean... Just a really high shimmer of base in there, but definitely take the PJ Washington Prism. And then what I'm guessing is going to be the Mem card, or I don't know what this is, guys, so we'll find out together here. Nice. Okay. I will definitely take that for sure. Is that a rookie card, John Collins, as well? I don't believe so. It is. Wow. Okay. Nice little surprise there, guys. Um, John Collins, rookie, patch, numbered to 25. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, that's that's definitely good. <laughs> and it's, it's actually a decent patch in there, too, with the uh, two-toned... Looks like it might be part of one of the letters in there, or no, maybe the numbers, but... Okay, guys. That is definitely uh, definitely cool. So, I don't know if all the boxes come with... I mean, this is a pretty decent card to get in one of those things, so... Uh, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, then. Definitely a nice surprise, guys. That's pretty sweet. Definitely, I was able to... Glad I was able to get something good out of that box for you guys. Sweet. Okay, so um, that kind of concludes it, guys. If you were wondering where this all came from again, I'll show you the box here. Fantasy Sports Breaks. Uh, this is, like I said, this is my first time ever seeing this at a shop or anything like that. Um, but if you guys do see it, uh, definitely take the chance at grabbing it because I did get a nice little hit there. So one more time. For the guys, boom, John Collins, Ricky Patch, number 225, boom, sweet, hope you guys enjoyed the video, this was definitely a good one for sure, hopefully I can uh, start visiting a little more, uh, um, like more local card shops more often, I did go to a, a significant amount already, but uh as, as things start opening up with the corona and the vaccine yada 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 maybe life will become normal at some point so till then guys i will i do have another video in store so i uh, will look out for that i appreciate you guys watching hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching